Hello everyone. In today's video, I'll guide you through the process of crafting a Hulk animation using Blender. It's going to be a straightforward and enjoyable tutorial, so stick around, and let's dive right in. First, I scoured Sketchfab to find the perfect Hulk model, and luckily, I stumbled upon a fantastic one. After that, I swiftly downloaded it. For the dancing animation, I utilized Mixamo, making the process as simple as a drag and drop of the FBX file. And then this unexpected occurrence took place. But why did it happen? Well, it turns out I forgot to remove the armature that was already attached to the Hulk model. So I opened the FBX file of a Hulk model in Blender and turned off the armature, then saved it to in FBX format, and then I uploaded that file. Now it's fine. Then, I applied the chicken dance template and proceeded to download it. So, here's our animated Hulk. Now I need to add the textures. I imported the texture and connected it to the color. Then, in edit mode, I assigned the texture, resulting in something like this. Now, let's focus on creating a background. To achieve this, I added a plane. Since I wanted to create a wet floor effect, I downloaded both the concrete texture from Ambient CG and a metal texture. Next, I took the color texture from the concrete material and connected it to the color, as well as the roughness texture of the metal material to the roughness channel. Now, let's enhance the texture further. I'll add a bump node and connect the color to the height and normal to the normal input. This tweak gives it a cool, realistic appearance. I'll also slightly reduce the distance to fine-tune the effect. Now, for an added touch, I'll apply a color ramp to the roughness map and make some adjustments using the slider. This will enhance the overall look even further. I'll position the camera in the front, Then I will add a circular curve. By manipulating its geometry, I'll find the perfect placement that aligns with my vision. Next, I applied an emission material to the ring, boosting the strength and giving it a vibrant green color to maintain the Hulk theme. Now, in the world settings, I'll set the strength to zero to create a dark atmosphere. Afterward, I'll insert a UV sphere, assign a new material, remove the principal BSDF, and instead, add the principal volume shader, connecting it to the volume input. After experimenting with the volumetric lighting, I decided to add a subtle camera movement animation to enhance the overall effect. Then, I proceeded to render it in cycle, and here are the render settings I used. Thank you all for sticking around until now. If you've enjoyed my efforts, please don't hesitate to show your support by liking and sharing this video. And, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel. I'll be bringing you more Blender animations, 3D scenes, CGI, and VFX related content in the near future. So, until next time, see you in the next video.